personal for the Fiesta 2012. Programs are available throughout the site from official program sellers. So I'm David Cousins and I work in the University of uh, Bristol Particle Physics Group and I do mainly detectors and instrumentation. So for several years I've thought wouldn't it be fun to put real particle detectors in uh, classrooms and uh, use them to detect cosmic rays. And it turns out that this year is the centenary of the discovery of cosmic rays using a balloon. We uh, had some Nuffield Bursary students apply to do a project with us and we said, aha, you can do an outreach project. You can take some cosmic ray detectors that have been developed for use in classroom, bolt them together with some telemetry to get the data back to the ground and some um, computing power to store the data locally and then we can all fly in a balloon to celebrate the uh, centenary. I went along to the Royal Science Exhibition um, in London with school and won a, entered a competition for, um, at the stand about cosmic rays and I won this. I won a competition, I sent an article about cosmic radiation at the British University and I won. And surprisingly I'm not that scared. <laughs> Terrified! <laughs> Not letting go of these. Yeah, no, Not letting go. That's a good idea. <laughs> The flight was amazing. I'm told from the ground that uh, people could see all the other balloons just sort of going up a little bit and drifting off and we just sort of went straight up. Yeah, the flight was quite, it's sort of surreal the flight last night because it doesn't quite feel right, the basket floating just on air and when you realise it isn't actually lighter than air, or well, it is lighter than air but not really. Well, it's a shame that A-level students learn about particle physics but they don't do anything practical and for me the the fun bit of physics was always the the, the practicals the experimental stuff uh, we brought this detector up with us in the balloon which we've been we've been building this for the last three weeks uh, and it it is designed so that when we take it up we can see how the altitude affects how many cosmic rays we detect unfortunately uh, it only has a two-hour battery life and someone had accidentally switched it on more than two hours before the flight so we don't think we'll have got anything from it. But we've managed to send it up again since and we should get some data. Well, it's been great to be working with them. I mean, I'm enthusi enthusiastic about physics and it sort of takes me back to, uh, you know, when I was fiddling with bits of electronics and so on. The things at the bottom, there's two, two components that are put together. So it's two of what you can see there and the bottom bit is a, a scintillator so when uh, charged radiation goes through it, um, causes the, it causes the release of light. And they're all uh, thinking of pursuing science or engineering I think at, uh, at university and uh, hopefully this will uh, persuade them to, to, to sort of sign up. Although I've always wanted really to become a scientist, a physicist, um, what I feel this experience has done for me is that it's broadened my understanding of how practical physics actually works. I never really understood you know, how much electronic skills and programming you need to be a scientist and that's what this has taught me. This experience for me sort of, I think it has made me more interested in physics and more interested in pursuing actual a career in it because um, it just showed how sort of what cool stuff you can do. Uh, this project's been great for me I think because it really shows me what a career in physics would be like because I've done a work experience placement before but they tried to keep it as interesting as possible um, so it wasn't really real it didn't feel real this did because we had a project we had a deadline and we're getting real results which we can use.